Hello, this is my voice before voice surgery. That is legit weird. No, that's not you. Wow. <laughs> that's AI. Are, 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 are you? Ah! What the f Really? Oh. My mind is like trying to like process. You don't sound like Nano anymore. So I just got out of the consultation. Everything seems great. This is the same doctor that has already worked on my face and he was so freaking nice. So the surgery is not going to be like the traditional where they like do like the laser and try to cut off things. Instead, it's going to be the same technique that a couple of um, South Korean doctors do, which is exactly what I want because I've seen those results and those results seem really good. I expect the recovery is going to be like three months, but the guy said, oh, it's going to be actually two weeks and you'll be able to talk but they're going to be injecting botox into my throat muscles i won't be able to use my throat muscles efficiently and after three months they'll wear off but that's just to prevent any like anything bad from happening so everything can just be unusable and it'll be protected second consultation is done for some reason insurance wanted a second consultation because they wanted a letter from like a psychiatrist saying that i'm a, like mentally healthy or whatever and they also wanted pictures of my vocal cords three weeks from now i'm getting a call from the surgery department and then i can schedule my surgery so next time you see me i should be going to the surgery oh jesus so in a couple of hours surgery is happening and then recovery i pictured for the rest of the day i'm just going to be like really high off of like whatever anesthetics they give me. So I'm just gonna be lying down for the rest of the day. And for two weeks, no talking, no spicy foods. I can't clear my throat, I can't sneeze. When I told a lot of people that I was getting this surgery, everybody was like, why Why are you doing this? Like, you sound fine, apparently. Apparently I sound fine. I've never been misgendered in real life. Um, I've never been clocked, everything. I've been super fortunate and I just pass, I guess. I'm really lucky in that aspect. I wanna have like a voice that makes it easier for other people around me to help me like assimilate as like my preferred gender, if that makes sense. And I just feel like it, it, it'd be a lot easier in life if I could just stealth mode it. I'm back. Everything, Everything I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, say is all pre-recorded pre because, because I probably can't, can't talk, talk right now. now. No, 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 no. Day one of recovery. Feels like a really bad sore throat. No talking, no mouth noises, no clearing throat. It's so hard to not clear my throat. Doctor said I can if I really need to. They injected Botox to relax my vocal cords, so it will help prevent any damage. It's so hard to not laugh to make a hum sound. I have chest pains. I can't wait to hear what my voice will sound like. Surgery was so fast. They knocked me out so fast. The staff felt very cold slash distant but it was 6 a.m. I can't wait to hear my voice. Ah. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hi. This is really, really weird. So this is what my voice sounds like after almost two weeks of no talking. It almost sounds like an AI assistant. I think it's the Botox in my throat that relaxes it. And that's why I sound kind of like an AI assistant. Now I have to find where I want my voice to be. And it's like, I don't know where I feel comfortable talking. So I'm just taking it really, really easy. I wonder if I'm getting shortness of breath because I haven't used my voice, but this is just the start of it and it should fully heal within the three months. <laughs> I don't think I can laugh yet though. Everything's just kind of a whisper, but I like it. It's definitely different, but I'm going to shut up until a couple of days. Don't tell anybody that I did this. Hi, Jinx. 
I shouldn't be talking right now, but I just wanted to get your reaction. Well, what the? F that is legit weird. Is it different? Do I sound like an AI? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's you. Did you have a good day? Yeah, say something else. Good I don't girl. care like that. No, that's not you. Two plus two equals what? Two plus two equals four. No, that's not you. That's AI. Yeah, we're using mod AI or some shit like that. I Voice AI or whatever. No, there you go. I just heard it right uh, there. That, that, that one voice. was bad. Fucking heard it. Don't no. even try. But, uh, like uh, it, was, it was trying to, it was, yeah, it's trying to auto tune your voice. It is not. There's Botox in my throat and that's relaxing my throat muscle. I'm not sure if you're lying to me and that's I weird. I am not lying. What the fuck? Really? Yes. It is fucking legit two worlds separate. It's insane. Girl, that's fucking cool. Thank you. Yes. Look at the camera. Like, raise a bit. Like, how the fuck did they get to your neck? Through the how mouth. did that go? So you don't have, like, any physical trauma and shit, right? Uh, not on the outside. That's cool. Let's go. Thank I'm you. fucking happy for you. Thank you. Hi, Cal. Hi. You sound really, like, sick. How are you? Uh, you don't sound like Nano anymore. I know. Why do you sound like Mommy? I'm sorry. I don't believe you. <laughs> What are your thoughts? You sound so different. I love you. I'm not used to it. Instead of calling me Nana, you can call me Evelyn. Uh-huh. Can I finally get head now? Is your throat healed enough so I get head now? Not yet. I can tell you a bedtime story. Make sure nobody hears my voice. And okay. You can talk about it though. Thank you. Bye bye, Evelyn. Goodbye, Daxton. Uh, bye. 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 Hi, Blondie. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Is, is this, this is just you speaking? This is just me speaking. Okay. It's very airy. Yes. Airy and light and high and uh, wow. It's so interesting, like hearing it and then it, it, like, mm -hmm. I feel like <laughs> I I'm can't just make it sound like monotone if that's what you want. Oh, there's like I, I can hear a little bit of foundation of like from where it comes from, but then yeah, it's it's different. I want to like do the voice that you're doing right now. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> hey, Nano. Oh my god, what's up? <laughs> it has like like a, a yeah, it a, almost a, sounds a like AI. Over. It makes me even more curious as to like what it's gonna sound like. I know. Uh, during the end of it, so okay, okay Nano. Thank you for letting me call you. It was a pleasure speaking you. to you. No problem. It was a pleasure hearing you before right. and after. I my thoughts are still processing, but like I, I hope that you, I hope that you get your desired result, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. I love you, Blondie. I love you. Yo Bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is my new voice. It will change. This is not permanent. No way, that's a voice changer. Stop the trolling. The claps sound like claps. Uh, it sounds like a voice changer when I do that. Uh, two weeks ago, I got a surgery to change my voice. Sounds robotic. One of the reasons why it sounds robotic is because I have a shortness of breath. The shortness of breath will disappear with time. It really will. So I have to learn how to talk again. And that includes laughing, sneezing, and coughing, and all the other noises. During the start of the recovery, I felt like a sore throat. I wasn't able to talk to anybody. I was walking around in public with a whiteboard and I would have to write on it and people would think that I'm weird. The surgery, uh, I think it took an hour. So how do you feel now? I feel good. My throat does not feel sore, but I don't want to overdo it. Come on, Anna, talk with your real voice. Maybe I can go back to it, but if you listen carefully, you can hear my old voice within this voice. The surgeon that I got has done the surgery a lot and has done different versions of it and has found the most success in this one that I got. For surgery, do they go in through the mouth or the butt? There's no surgical lines inside my throat. They did do an injection from the outside and that did leave a mark for a couple of days, but now it's gone. What is someone learned a girl voice, do you think they will still benefit? When you do um, vocal training, you learn how to manipulate your throat, but now after surgery, I feel like my throat is really, really relaxed and I don't have to do any like weird tricks or anything and I can just talk without thinking about it. You also learn more feminine speech patterns. Those are very important that you learn. Is it difficult to talk after the procedure? It was really scary after the procedure. I wasn't able to talk and when I thought about talking, 
and I did the first steps to do my talking, I felt like I would never talk again. How much did your surgery cost, if you don't mind me asking? I think they normally average $2,000. I haven't paid for mine yet, and I have insurance, so it might be somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000. Is talking more difficult? Uh, yes and no. So it doesn't hurt to talk, I just have a shortness of breath when I talk. So when I talk, I feel like I have to... <sighs> like the... Guy Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle, the wheelchair kid. Again, this is not my permanent voice. It will change. What made you take this decision? For me, my voice was probably the most unique sounding thing in the world and I hated it. It didn't sound good. And now it does sound unique, but now it sounds better. And I kind of like being able to talk slower because it prevents me from saying something stupid. Worst case, you never talked again, which is all around a W. How about you shut your mouth? I will come after you. I am coming. Will your voice be able to get as loud as it used to? It seems like for the first year, it probably won't. But maybe in the future, it, it will. How difficult is the surgery? Psychologically, it was really hard. Not talking for two weeks is really, really hard. And it makes you feel very lonely. Sometimes it felt like you were a ghost kind of watching other people do stuff. Because you couldn't really participate on the same level as them. I'm gonna miss that heartbeat and bussy. Bussy. Hmm. It's 7 a.m. and I'm in the parking lot of my doctor's appointment thing. Normally, I would try to warm up my voice so it wouldn't sound that manly because when you wake up in the morning, I feel like it's a little bit more deeper. But now, it's not like that anymore. It's completely different. It sounds like this and I love it. It's been 30 days since my surgery and I really like the results so far. I love it and I hate it. To me, I sound like the same person. I'm trying to talk slow now because it's more feminine than talking really fast and being like this. And that still makes me go out of breath. Breath. Two days ago, I went out and it's really hard to project my voice. I have to be like this. Hi, can I order the, the pizza? Like in real life, it's really hard. And it's like a second puberty. Like when I started like gaming and I'd be like really obnoxious, I lose my voice. If I'm like, oh my God, kill him, kill him, kill him. Ah! It's still not 100% there. It's going to take a while. It sounds like I'm going through puberty again. The breathiness I like, but in real life, it's not practical because no one can hear me. But I'm still going to wait and see what the results hold. In two months, the Botox in my throat should wear off and then maybe that'll also change the way that my voice sounds. This is not the final product and it doesn't hurt to talk or anything. It feels perfectly fine. Hello, it's been 60 days since my voice update and I think now I sound a little bit different but i think all the botox is actually gone because now i'm able to talk more quickly my vocal pitch isn't as high as it was when i first got the surgery if that makes sense it's kind of settled to be like here but i can still go back to it but i really like how it is here the problem with my voice currently is that if i'm like in a public setting it's really hard for me to yell it takes up a lot of energy and a lot of effort and for some people it's not important to me but i can't sing like if i show you like a scale like uh, it kind of stops at a certain point. The itsy bitsy spider thread up the water spout. It just doesn't hit the same. Progress is great. I'm enjoying life and everybody's enjoying it as well. But I'll see you again in the next 30 days. Boom. Just went for the final checkup and guess how much the grand total has been so far. $30,000, or at least that's what I saw in some paperwork. And then I got a letter from insurance saying $8,000. And of course insurance is, they said that it's not a bill, they're gonna do part of their job or whatever. The actual surgery was around $400, like 387 or something like that. The way that I'm talking right now, I feel like there's two different places where I can talk. If I need to talk loud, that's what you guys have been hearing. But if I'm talking to somebody who's like near me, it's a little bit more breathy and a little bit more interesting. I really like the way I sound. I've gotten nothing but good things. I've gotten a lot of haters on like Instagram, but that's when they hear the before and after video. So of course they're gonna be hating. They're gonna be like, Jesus loves you or whatever. But it's like, other than that, that's like the only hate I've get gotten. There are having people that didn't know that I got the voice surgery and they've been like, you sound different. What happened? And it's just been like really, really good. I like it. I think 10 out of 10. I mean, if you've been here this long for the journey, I think this is the last update. So I really appreciate you for watching this whole video. That's crazy. Thank you so much. If you like the progress, feel free to DM me. Actually, I'm really worried about like flooding this place with too many requests. I have told a couple of people where I got the surgery, but I am a little bit worried about like, 
over congesting it. Does that make sense? I don't want to gatekeep it either. I'm sure you guys could find where I went. And if you need any help, maybe I'll respond to a DM. I don't know. It seems too weird. It depends who you are. Okay? All right, everybody. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a subscribe because there's going to be more weird stuff happening very, very soon. You don't want to miss out on any of the gooner activities that we're doing. It looks like I'm depressed. <laughs> It's the lighting! I don't look like this, it's the lighting! Bye! I love you! I love you! Oh, Jesus. Ah, stop!